Homer, he and mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, the young man that was giving us our clothes and everything, I looked on his nameplate, everybody has a nameplate, uh, Lowry. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, by the way, it looks like you have a minute, uh, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you happen to know a Bubba Lowry that I attend college with? Mm -hmm. And he started laughing. He had lost all that weight while I had, since I had last seen right. him. Didn't recognize and him. Didn't recognize him. So Brandon says, "Why don't you tell that little story he so Myra he can hear and it from he you?" He must have slimmed down because his wife, Miss June, is a pretty lady. Beautiful lady. Oh yeah. So he had, he had to be in shape to let him pretty. That's lady. correct. So anyhow, <laughs> it, it, I had to tell that little story. Then later on, in, in a couple of more pictures, we're going to see his young son Brooke. Go. But we'll get to that. There's the crowd Here they are, dancing, dancing, cutting up their hands. Fun. In the air, like they don't care. And I don't have a picture of the band. Uh, they had a 10 piece band. The one guy was the mixer of the music, mm -hmm. and they had four young ladies singing. Uh, the the music back and in the sixties. You didn't get 60s. a picture of four good-looking ladies. Ladies, I didn't get it. How'd that happen? Well, <laughs> it, 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 the the lights were not good. I understand. But and and during the break time, they changed dresses. They did that dancing Man. like uh, the what's Pointer what's, Sisters, maybe. Th that's the, correct. That's the kind of music, and there was not one that song that they played that the floor didn't fill up. No I mean, kid. they know how to entertain the crowd. Now, this is Brooke Brandon. Good morning to you. Right. And both of these kids have good, good edu college education already and doing well. Proud of you guys. Look, Blaine. He's having a Blaine good time. and his date, Miss Sherry, from she works with the clerk of court in Lafayette, Louisiana. Good. good morning to you, Sherry, and all of your friends over there. Cool. And uh, this is Stacy on the right. Uh, Stacy, Kevin Carrier's wife. wife. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paulette uh, Olivier. Olivier, by way of Gillery, she's Blaine's sister. Mr. Bill's two kids. And there you are, cutting up. I'm cutting up and having a little dance with the bride. I oh, went yeah. and pinned a little money on the on the dress. And uh, just a fun, fun, fun party. I just want to thank and Blaine the and cake, the family for the inviting me. And She's feeding the groom. groom. And it was outside on February the 25th. Now, that, that takes some guts to put on and a show. This photo. <laughs> and uh, these are people that I met on the Friday back, night yes, and hello. again Saturday at the function, at the reception. And uh, this, she goes by the name of Sam. Uh, that's not her real name, but that's what everybody in the Eunice Platt area knows her. And her husband, Lee LaFleur. And uh, they live in uh, Eunice. And I want to thank uh, Sam. I want Sam to please thank her sister and husband for letting us get in that car packed into that car to bring us back to the hotel known as W. This picture here was taken on uh, Monday. This is the construction taking place at Crown Plaza. This mm -hmm. is on the Harry Gilbo Road. This will be the new sales arena that Mr. Harold Foreman and his investors are Horse building. Sales. Horse sales. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And it's going to be a multifunction. Had the good fortune uh, Monday of having lunch with Coach Hud. But, but he just goes by Coach right. Hud Over from uh, head, UL. Head football coach at UL. UL. Very successful first year. Nine victories the first mm -hmm. year. And of course, the gentleman there is a big uh, supporter and fan of the program before Coach Hud. He's been with the program supporting it uh, for many, many years, both financially and tailgating, and just a, a, a good supporter. Mm -hmm. And you know where he comes from? Where? He comes from Opelousas. He graduated okay. from Opelousas. Hi, Fapa Pavi. I remember that name, uh -huh. one of them he graduated the with. Class? Around 1975. And this is Local John product. Nolan, better known according to the person who invited me to the lunch, uh -huh. Terry Fontenot. They call him Stump. And uh, this is having lunch at the Petroleum Club, and this is Gerald A. Bear, and he's in charge of fundraising for the athletic department. And in the white shirt with the red tie and the white hair like Bobby Dupre mm -hmm. is Mr. Terry Fontenot by way of Church Point originally, uh, Opelousas for a number of years, and lives and works for UBS investment uh, firm in Lafayette, Louisiana. All right, that's all my photos. Now, you got to stand back. I got a bunch of sponsors I got to get to that I've been holding back on. Okay. Benny 
supermarket. All your grocery needs here in Opelousa has been here forever. Come down to downtown Opelousa. Great, great food. Home-style cafe. They do catering for any occasion. They serve home-cooked meals daily, cafeteria style. And right now during Lent, you can get your fish on Fridays. I mean, on Wednesdays. On Fridays, you can get your fish and your etouffee. Go by. They're open Mondays through Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And on Sundays from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Great meat selection. Great wine and beer selection as well. They've got gifts in Miss Mary's gift shop. They've got nutritional supplements. If you're a workout kind of guy, go by and see Little Benny's uh, Sports Shack in there and get all that kind of stuff. And you like a little bit of beer. They got 80 plus brands in, in Blake's uh, brew house in the back right hand corner. Great place to go. You think and, I'll ever start drinking again? Uh uh. Did you, you think, finish? You think I, just like you, huh? You never did start again. <laughs> we're gonna try to stop. How we, many years you you were you were chauffeuring a, uh, uh, a person that became a, a judge district Jim Doherty. judge, uh, Jim Doherty? Judge and Jim I remember Doherty. when you stopped, and uh, I remember the night I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes we get to choose the night. Sometimes God, we get God forced is good because I prayed to God when I got home that uh, I wouldn't drink again until all of this matter was behind Settled. me. And uh, who knows, maybe never. You know, my daddy quit just like that. Mama told him a little something. He was fussing at my two brothers, and she told him a little something, and he never drank again. Uh, Cody uh, had a little incident in the family, and he quit drinking, and that's probably 30 years ago or more. So maybe uh, I'll well, be just, fortunate. Just go 30 years, then, then, uh, then the 30th anniversary, we, we'll have one. We'll have you one. You right. together, me and Good. you. It's been very easy, <laughs> and I thank God every day for it being so easy because I throw the same parties I've thrown. Y'all were there for Christmas, and mm -hmm. the, the wine and the beer and the whiskey was flowing, and uh, Mamu and uh, the— Mardi Gras? Uh, Joe Fred uh, uh, mentioned uh, the Super Bowl party was held mm -hmm. in my suite. Sure. I had bought all the liquor and everything, and uh, God is good. Believe me, uh, <laughs> try it sometimes. Carl's Thrifty Way, all your medicinal needs. You can go get your medi medicines from your prescriptions. You can get your over-the-counter type stuff as well. They'll do generics to help you save some money. They'll compound multiple prescriptions together for you. Maybe you're going to retreat this weekend. Double check that you got your medicine, <laughs> that everything, you know, all, all your uh, prescriptions are up to date. Pick mine up at Carl's yesterday. And maybe you wear contact lenses. You got to pick up the solution. They got all that kind of stuff too. And right now, you know, Easter's coming up. Maybe you want to get some Easter gifts or home decorating ideas. All at Carl's Thrifty Way. And one more sponsor, Dixie Store. Storage. Maybe you bought so much decorating stuff, you need to store some of it. Dixie Storage can help you store whatever you need from your RVs to your boats down to just small home type stuff. Maybe you're going to put the sofa aside because the daughter is going to head off to college this summer or this fall. You can put that kind of stuff in there as well. They've got climate controlled, high tech, on concrete so you don't have to get muddy. You can get to your stuff 24 by 7 if you need to. They've got uh, plenty of warehouse space as well. They've got a, a, a McCorm the McCormick uh, Center. Center in Port Barrow you can rent for receptions and for parties as well. And they've got uh, Dixie One Trucking that will help deliver some of your loads, do inventory control for you as well with access to a railroad spur. A-plus glasses, their sister company with locations in Opelousas and in Lafayette where they do commercial glass, personal glass, auto inspections, and auto glass as well. I might add uh, two uh, items that I just want to throw in right away. Throw in. One is that uh, the uh, property formerly known as Toby's Little Lodge mm -hmm. has been recently purchased uh, by Wayne Doucette and his family, and uh, they're going to open up uh, a little different type bar for Opelousas. Uh, it's going to be called the Cedar Lane Club really? inside of Toby's, and then the large section of the seating and the where the restaurant portion, the eating, mm -hmm. the cooking and everything, that's going to be uh, for receptions. It's going to be a reception hall. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, I wish Wayne nothing but the best, mm -hmm. and thanks again for helping. Uh, we are in the process of selling our interest, and that's J.E. Brignac and I, mm -hmm. uh, the television portion mm -hmm. uh, and the land, and there was some old land markings that didn't fit to today's uh, real world, and Wayne uh, bent over backwards to help me, and I, mm -hmm. I, I'll never forget that. And uh, just want to wish him real, real good luck. And the people buying, I just a lot of you know it already. I'm gonna make a, make a mention. Is Delta Media? They purchased KSLO, mm -hmm. and uh, now they're gonna 
I guess, kind of merge the two together. I understand the employees uh, affiliated with KSLO are going to move into this building. I think they, they've decided they want a stronger presence in Abelus's market, and the way to do that, bring the two it, companies it together. Bring the two companies together, and we are part of the sale because we we had to agree to stay on, and we yeah, want to stay show, on. Right. We want to stay on. So don't you you gonna nothing will change. The Bobby Dupree me. show will keep rolling. They like it for the local programming, so you'll see all your favorites from Swamp and Roll to the uh, What's Cooking. All your local shows, you'll you'll hardly notice the difference. Another uh, big sponsor and an advertiser and a, a a person that allows our production department to do their ads on television across the, wherever they advertise mm -hmm. uh, is Sterling Motors. Uh, Mr. Robert Cook uh, has announced uh, to uh, Matt, Matt uh, our production manager, that uh, Sterling Motors has now purchased officially, it's been on the street, Bordelon Ford uh, Mercury here in Opelousas, Louisiana. They are now in the management of the facility and you're gonna see a lot more vehicles and construction will be coming up and announced very shortly. New construction that I guess Ford Corporation is encouraging They're them. Re requiring to them to make the showrooms look more like the other showrooms and more inventory. Now, Sterling Motors came on the scene a few years ago. They also purchased uh, DC here in Opelousas, and that gave them a presence of GMC and Buick. They also, across the interstate, have been with Dodge, Jeep, and Chrysler. And uh, in Lafayette, they also have Hyundai and Suzuki. Uh, so uh, they are a, a multi-franchise. Uh, years ago, it was uh, taboo. If you sold a Ford, you couldn't sell a Chrysler product and vice versa. And uh, today, those lines are thrown away. And uh, Mr. Art LeBlanc, uh, who I uh, understand his main entity in the past and, and probably still very interested in is uh, he is heavily in, uh, invested uh, in the oil patch. Mm -hmm. uh, he's developed, uh, I guess, bought leases and I, I'm not, I don't know his whole, but a very successful businessman and really has come on strong in the auto dealership. And of course, another person that came on strong is Don Hogruder, who hails from Opelousas, and he has a number of franchises. If you got any obituaries, you're down to the bitter end. you got uh, one minute to last, get them. Last Friday, uh, I, I invited Lionel uh, Melanson. Uh, it was a one year uh, that his wife, uh, Benita Norman Melanson, had passed away. I took him to lunch uh, over at Vidrine's Cafe, and we had Hubert Vidrine, uh, who is a very good friend of myself and of course Lionel uh, there. Uh, I, I know you had a hard time last week, Lionel. Uh, we praying for you. And a, a person of obituary is Miss Ruby Deranger. Uh, sh her body uh, services were held Monday. And of course her husband Moise just died very, very recently. And uh, she has su survived by uh, two sons, Kenneth and Paul. Paul works with uh, A Plus Glass here, the, the, the McCormick Company here in Opelousas. And one of her sisters, one of Miss Ruby's sisters, is Linda Richard, uh, whose husband is Charles Richard, and saw her getting a haircut last Thursday at Sunny's. Uh, well, now nah, it's Angles. We're I'm down, sorry. We're about down that. to the end. You got to grab your prayer book because Richard we're down to 20 Lee seconds. Griffin, uh, better known as Kilroy, uh -huh. uh, he uh, the funeral services are being held today while we are filming the program right. and Mr. Earl Bertrand from Church Point also passed away and uh, he's a relative of uh, Mike Touchet who is back in the Opelousas area. I had all of this to talk about. I'll catch it next week. Yep. And my prayer and thought for today and we like to always close the program by asking you to please consider attending the church of your choice. And the prayer and thought is, my father, I trust in you. Strengthen my weakness and make me always more generous in the spirit of sacrifice. Thank you for viewing. Tell a friend. And thank you, Andrew. Thank you.